In this task, we're going to learn how to begin working with QGIS Browser, shown here. The first step in working on a project with geospatial datasets is to organize your workspace. It's important that the datasets are logically organized on the computer and are easy to find. In this task, you'll obtain a copy of the lab data and explore how the data is organized using QGIS Browser. The interface to QGIS Browser is simple and clean. It's analogous to Windows Explorer or the Finder application on Macs, but it's designed to view and organize geospatial data specifically. The file tree of your computer is displayed along the left-hand side. And note your machine likely has a different set of drives than shown here, and that's fine. Below the file tree are a set of database connections. We're not connected to any databases at the moment. The display window takes up the remainder of the application. This can be used to preview datasets and view metadata. There are display tabs above the display window that allow you to control what information you're seeing in the display window. So let's find the data for this lab. I'll simply navigate through the file tree by left clicking on the C drive, going into GST 101, Lab 2, Data. Now you can see the contents of the data folder. There are two subfolders and several files with different icons. I can see there are data on counties and schools by reading the file names, but there's more data than that here. The gray polygon indicates a data set which is vector data. This other icon is used to represent raster data, but may also be used to represent XML metadata files. In task two, you'll learn more about the features of QGIS Browser and continue to use it to explore the data and data models in lab two.